but it was many times. Thankfully, they never received an order to launch an attack. Many crew members believed that if they launched a missile, it would be quickly discovered and destroyed by the enemy. They lived with this risk every day while on patrol. Growler's longest time on patrol was 72 days. Two months at sea may not sound so difficult, but on a submarine, it's a different story. Growler's crew numbered from 90 to 100 men. They worked, slept, ate, and relaxed inside these close quarters. While on patrol, Growler stayed below the surface. The crew could not leave the submarine. They had no sunshine, no starlight, and very little fresh air. As you move through the submarine, imagine what life was like for these men, and keep in mind that every single one of them served on Growler voluntarily. As technology improved, newer, larger submarines with more sophisticated missiles made Growler obsolete. It was decommissioned in 1964 after six years of service. The Navy planned to use Growler as target practice for another submarine until it was rescued by the intrepid sea, air, and space museum. In 1988, Congress turned control of Growler over to the museum, and it opened to the public a year later. Growler is now the only U.S. Navy missile submarine open to the public. It is remarkably intact from its Navy service and retains most of its original features. We ask for your help in preserving this historic missile. Please do not touch anything inside the submarine and do not bring in food or drinks. You'll be entering momentarily. Staff inside the submarine will be happy to answer any questions you have. Feel free to take photos, but remember that there will be other groups coming in behind you. Thank you and welcome aboard. Tell the Empire State Building, I said hi. I always liked it since the movie Ghostbusters. I knew that movie well. Wait, did they go to the Empire State Building? Of course, course that whole thing that Zool was up on top of that was the Empire State Building. Wasn't it? Was it? No, it wasn't. I thought it was. Maybe, maybe it wasn't. No, I think it was. that was a fictional building. Oh, okay. Um, I was pretty little. If I remember correctly, um, the base of the building is a real building somewhere in the city, mm. and they did a map painting to give it a top oh. that doesn't really exist. Right, right. Fictional top. Yeah, there is no building that looks quite like that. I see where, where you get that from, though. It does look a lot like. It's like kind of like got that Art Deco look. Right, right. Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Yeah. <laughs> Dan Aykroyd is. It's the state fuck marshmallow man. <laughs> Clear your mind. It's impossible, yeah, you can't. And he was right. Hey, look at the bunk beds, that's what it's not. Yeah, just as bad as the, uh, the you could see the beds oh, in the boat, and it was the same thing. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't want to be uh, here for a long time. Yeah. We got to the water, we got to <laughs> right after he tells him. <laughs> like this and like that. When the light switch, there's a bewildering array of things here. Yeah. Interscope. Cycles. You see amber. like a slide roll in the no, I'm sure that's navigation. Yeah, look at the chair. Oh, the can't stand by the chair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. He has crawling. Yeah, geometry, protractor. Where are all those things that look like library? What? There's a little compartment that look like library. I didn't get a good look at them, but I'm, I'm not sure. Index card. Yeah, files. Don't press that dial. 
It's an old fashioned loo. Is that what you're. Yeah, Where? I see what you're saying. It looks like a card catalog back there. Yeah. yeah. It's probably checklist or something. Is that what you're this about? one? Oh, the water oh, closet. Yeah. Yeah. We're allowed to see the water closet. No, I think it's. Yep. 